Hello again. Um, do you remember this look? This look? This was the uh, cupboard lock that I opened in video 42, I think. <clears throat> um, this, and you remember that this lock was uh, very easy to open. Actually, if you remember, I used the um, used a snake rake on the jackknife to open the, the lock. So this time, I thought we'd just do something slightly bit different. And I got another one. It's, uh, it's very much identical style lock. This one, when I acquired this, see if I can get a focus on the you go, the bitting is different than, than the previous one we had. No, no, you can't really. Bitting is different on this one. So <clears throat> um, when I got this, it was it was locked open and it was very stiff. So when I tried to pick it closed, sorry, focus is being silly. When I tried to pick it closed, um, it would turn so far, but it wouldn't um, go all the way. So even though it was half picked closed, it wouldn't wouldn't um, wouldn't actually close properly. So I had to use my trusted screwdriver, uh, and I I slowly manipulated it. <clears throat> so eventually, I got it free enough to to lock. So. Oops, you remember what I said last time, I <clears throat> picked it using the snake rake. This time I am going to use my short hook, again on the jackknife. This is when I, um, this is when I, sorry, messing with the focus. This is when I um, altered myself. Uh, for this profile so I thought we would pick this <clears throat> as you can see I've got it locked there you go you see the way this works um, this yeah there's a mechanism the bars go behind here and this actually stops the bars uh, locks around this and it stops the bars from uh, coming off uh, and when you, you turn it, it pulls, retracts, or expands the bars either side of the cupboard. So, <clears throat> I'm going to pick this. Now, I'm going to pick it different. Just sure again, it's locked. You remember last time I used a snake and just a couple of um, wiggles, and it was open. Now, normally, if you was going to single pin pick this, you would put the hook in and pick this way, okay? Because the wafer's at the top. But I'm actually gonna pick it upside down, okay? I'm gonna put it inside, and I've actually found this works on, on quite a few locks. Put it in upside down, show you, it's going in upside down. And then I'm just going to stroke it There you go. Stroked it. This is how bad wafers are. I sh stroked it over the wafers and they just lined up. There we go. We're open. So let's, um, let's relock it. I need to relock it the other way. Uh, let's relock it and we'll I'll do it again. Put it in backwards. Oops.
That didn't go actually. Let's try again. There we go. So there you go. <clears throat> looks at you know this looks a little quite daunting on a cupboard. You think well, that might be a difficult one to pick. It's a really solid, solid handle as well. It's just such a shame that the wafers that they use a wafer lock and that the wafers actually so poor. The bitting on this must be terrible. The fact that we can take the jackknife and stroke it, we can just stroke it over the pins. And it's enough to, to set the pins. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care. You have a nice day. And hopefully I'll be back with another video soon. Bye bye now.